Okay, hey everyone. So it's been a while since I've done a RetroTINK 4K video. But yeah, since I've had this for now almost like six months or maybe even more than six months. But yeah, it's probably been like eight months actually because I got, I was one of the lucky ones was able to get one of the first batches. Um, and yeah, this is a very cool product. And since I made my first few videos, I've had a lot of time to mess around with it and figure out some of the settings I like, especially in SDR mode. And let me tell you, this looks absolutely stunning. Just stunning. Yeah, I'm still trying to decide if I like CRTs better still, or if I like this, because this is on a Sony A80CJ OLED. You can see some of my older videos where I <laughs> go over all the stuff on this uh, TV. But yeah, really nice OLED really nice set here. But yeah, having this uh, <clears throat> SDR mask applied, so a CRT mask applied, um, it just looks really cool. And this is a custom one that I have created. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how I create this custom CRT mask. Okay. And then I'll just mention too, this is a RGB modded N64. In fact, if you saw a previous video I did where I, it, it's literally just a $12 RGB mod that I bought off of AliExpress. Just like very cheap, but it's really high quality. I've been very impressed. Uh, one thing, I'll leave a link right here to that video if you want to see how to install it and all that awesome stuff. <laughs> but uh, one thing is that I do recommend you connect that um, high pass filter in that video. I didn't actually do it in the video, but I did it later, and that actually does help on these digital displays quite a bit. If you're getting connected to a CRT, it doesn't really make a difference, but yeah, even going through the RetroTing 4K, I uh, recommend connecting that high pass filter. But anyway, I'll do a separate video comparing that <laughs> some eventually. Uh, but anyway, yeah, really great RGB mod though. Highly recommend it. But yeah, check out that other video for how to install that and everything. So anyway, this is my custom profile here, and I am now going to switch it to the default profile just so you can see the difference. Okay, and there's the default profile. So yeah, you may notice it's maybe a little brighter. You can see it's uh, zoomed out a little bit, and yeah, and then obviously there's, well, I don't know, I don't know how sh well it shows up on YouTube and like especially I'm not like super close to, the, I don't know, it just looks better in real life, but I don't know how well you can see the CRT mask, but basically they're just non-existent right now. You have a lot of uh, really sharp pixels though, <laughs> that's for sure. So yeah, lots of sharp pixels, and you know, if this is if this is the look you like, then you know, that's great. Then um, yeah, that's, that's totally fine. I recommend just doing uh, auto phase and auto gain. And then if you're using analog source, won't do anything if you're using digital source, but yeah, analog, then yeah, I definitely do that. Um, and yeah, and I'll show that, I'll show you that at the end of the video <laughs> once we're done setting up the CRT mask. But uh, yeah, this is a look that a lot of people like. However, if you want to have a really cool CRT SDR experience, let me show you how to do that. So first off, we're going to pull up this menu here and we're going to go into advanced settings and then we're going to go into scaling slash cropping all right okay and then we're going to go clear down now we're not going to do any of this uh, vertical pre-scale because we're already piping in 240p so we don't need to <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's already 240p already perfect yeah uh, however we are going to want to go down to this scaling mode and we're going to change it off of autofill and change it to proportional. So just put right, push right once on the uh, controller, the RetroTing 4K controller. And now we're gonna change it all the way to 10. So you've heard, I'm sure you've heard other people talk about how like on the RetroTing 5X, they, they praise, you know, how 5X mode for 240p is like perfect because it has like really good scaling. Um, and it has a little bit of uh, overscan as well and so it, it kind of I mean it cuts off some of the over yeah it yeah it has overscan it cuts off some of the edges so you can see what I just did this is basically the equivalent of 5x scaling for the RetroTINK 5x it's just now this it's, it's 4k and there's twice as many vertical pixels now it's 10x scaling instead of 5x scaling so yeah I highly recommend this 
and yeah, just do this pro proportional. Um, then you get even vertical scaling, so then it reduces the amount of shimmering, shimmering that you would get on pixels. And yeah, it just looks really great. And then also it's like, it's, it's, it's actually kind of mind boggling how these numbers work, but yeah, the, the space like between these icons and the top of the screen is like pretty identical to like what you would see on most CRTs. And so yeah, I just am a huge fan of this uh, 10X scaling on this RetroTINK 4K. But yeah, then once you do that, that's really the only things you have to do in this um, in this screen. If you want, you can also do like left and right trim if you want, if you're worried about, because technically on a CRT, there would also be overscan on the left and right. Um, and a good game to do that on is like Super Smash Brothers because uh, yeah, it's kind of already cropped in. So then you can, it, anyway, I'll show that in a different video, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I won't be doing that here because I think most people don't really worry about that, but over scan on uh, left and right is something that I, um, yeah, <laughs> do like to turn on usually. Uh, but anyway, we'll just leave it as is later. Um, so sorry. And then, so after, yeah, so then we went back to this menu and then now we're going to go into processing and effects. All right. And now we're gonna go down to add some scan lines or the, yeah, black lines in between the scan lines. <laughs> and I like this exponential. Um, you can try these other ones, super Gaussian, Gaussian. Uh, I don't know, exponential, from what I understand, I think that it, it, it changes, it, it tries to like mimic what an electron beam on a real CRT would do as it goes across the screen. So it might be brighter or darker in some areas. I think, let me know if anyone knows if I'm wrong about that, but I think that's what I heard. <laughs> um, however, and uh, you can leave it on this zero strength. Uh, however, I usually like to put on about four and you can see that got the, that made the picture quite a bit darker. You can see, you can see how it gets darker. A lot of these settings that we're gonna add is gonna add darkness to the picture and that may deter you from adding these mask settings. However, just remember your eyes will adjust, especially where I'm in basically a pitch black room besides the TV and like some lights from like the Nintendo 64 and stuff, um, little LEDs. Your eyes will adjust. It's like after you've been inside or like in a pitch black room or a cave for a long time and then you go outside into the sun, you know, you like you can barely see anything because your pupils are dilated and they have to adjust. Um, and then when you go back inside in the dark room, then you can't see anything again, right? So anyway, basically what I'm saying is that your eyes will adjust. And like even now, just looking at this for a little bit, it now is starting to look normal again. So, you know, it it won't always look dark. It will be kind of a shock when you first put these on, but just, I don't know. In my opinion, just don't worry about it. And, you know, just enjoy the settings and your eyes will adjust. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a brighter TV, that's great too. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, so we turned on those scan lines and now we're going to go down here and enable a mask. So this is also very important. Um, yeah. And before we change the strength, I'm just going to load from file. So there's two different kinds of mask here. This is really, um, optional. I mean, not well in my method, it's not optional, but I mean, what I mean is optional is that you can choose any of these that, you know, whichever is your personal preference, whichever one you like the best. So I'll just kind of explain what they mean. Oh, man, I got to breathe too when I'm talking. <sighs> okay. So a mono mask is, um, basically it adds vertical scan lines and it tries to, uh, right now the ones that are available, at least on this version of the RetroTink 4K that I'm using, uh, it has after grill dense or after grill medium, and it basically just adds vertical scan lines, um, but they're just like black basically. So kind of like the horizontal scan lines. Um, I, they're okay. If that's your thing, that's fine. You can use them. Um, however, the RGB mask that these are really cool because this, these actually like more accurately mimic an old CRT where you can actually see the red, green, and blue uh, slots in like where the light is then hitting the phosphors. Um, so yeah, that's the difference between RGB and mono is mono is just black lines. These ones are literally like red, green, and blue <laughs> lines that you can see. And then there's coarse, so coarse and dense. Most of these have coarse and dense options. Um, coarse is just means that the 
the red, green, and blue uh, slots are easier to see. They're bigger, dense, they're smaller. Um, yeah, I, I actually kind of like coarse because, so this is a 77 inch OLED TV and coarse is even, I think is I, like a little too small, but like you can kind of still see the effect, but dense is just really small. So, I mean, if you, I, dense is like kind of reminds me of like a CRT computer monitor basically like it's it's pretty uh, pretty small <laughs> so yeah for this uh, older like I, I try to go like for kind of the more of the CRT like the TV consumer TV look or even even like uh, some of the PVMs and stuff where you can still see the grills or the slot mask um, so anyway but again it's all personal preference if you like the PC CRT look which is also really awesome, then yeah, go for dents maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna choose Aperture Grill Course. Again, a lot of these are really cool. I, I suggest you test them out and see which one you like best. But yeah, I just like this Aperture Grill Course. So yeah, anyway, so now you can see it, now it got darker again. And on this one, I actually like to raise the brightness a little bit. So, uh, so uh, decrease the strength. And again, this is just kind of personal preference. But I found, at least for my liking, I like to put it around nine, uh, negative seven, because I can still see those red, green, and blue. In fact, I'll try to zoom up a little bit, and hopefully you can see us a little better. Maybe I don't know how well this will go through with the YouTube compression or whatever, but hopefully you can see some of those red, green, and blue on there. Yeah, like on that blue uh, icon. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, that's what that looks like. Yeah, I'll just turn it on and off real quick so you can kind of see the difference. So there's on, and then here's off. So you can see how this on, it adds the red, green, and blue uh, vertical uh, scan lines there, the mask, and then yeah, there's off. So yeah, I, I just like it on. I just think it looks more authentic. So yeah, but again, you know, feel free to tweak my settings if uh, as you uh, please. I'll only be offended a little bit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I won't be offended at all. Set this up however you'd like. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is, uh, for me, pretty important. I really like this saying. And then another one that's super important, which I didn't know about before, but I recently found out about, um, is that this horizontal blur, well, recently is as, as of like a few months ago, but anyway, function um, so you want to turn this on and now you can see when you first turn it on it gets really blurry and I found that like a good happy medium is about like around six or seven um, yeah but yeah when this horizontal blur is on it really looks like <laughs> uh, it really looks like a consumer set CRT and like it just kind of smooths out all the graphics and it just looks really authentic <laughs> Yeah, highly recommend this setting. But yeah, then after that, that's actually uh, that's actually all the settings that I change in this advanced menu. Uh, there are, there are like um, settings, you know, for black frame insertion. But this TV uh, actually has a really good black frame insertion already baked into game mode. And so yeah, I'll try to make another video uh, where I go over my specific TV settings because that's kind of a whole other thing, which. I also have made look really, really good that are like better than the default settings on this TV. Um, so yeah, I will try to make another video on that. But anyway, I'll just try to focus on the RetroTink 4K on this video <laughs> so it doesn't get too long and off topic. But yeah, once we get all that set up, then the last thing that we need to do, because even like looking at this right now, I can still tell it's a little dimmer than what I'm usually used to. So now what we're gonna do is you can see on this remote, there's this auto phase and auto gain function. So, uh, and again, if anyone knows this better than I do, let me know if I if I'm wrong. I'm you know I'm not saying I'm perfect and know everything, but auto phase, from what I understand, it so this is an analog signal going into the um, into the RetroTINK 4K, and basically the phase is saying okay, it's going to take a sample you know of the colors. This you know you know, in a certain, uh, like increments, and then it will display them, you know, digitally on the TV. And obviously, you know, that's, well, that's just the way analog to digital conversion works. Um, and so it just does like a, on this default profile, it just does a default, you know, uh, like 
increments across the screen that, you know, I guess it's just kind of the best overall setting for everything that you would <laughs> plug into this uh, retro team 4k however since each console and like or each vcr or dvd player or whatever is slightly different then you can actually push this auto phase button and it will find the best places to actually take those analog samples and then that will give you a cleaner image so yeah so that's the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this auto phase you can see it's auto phase in progress auto phase complete so there you go pretty pretty easy and to tell you the truth i usually don't really i can't really i haven't really been able to tell a huge difference between not doing that and doing it but in theory like the theory of it makes sense and so i'm just going to say that it makes a difference somehow <laughs> uh by the way this little uh, star in link's uh face that's because i have my flash on my phone so you can see the controller <laughs> okay but now the next thing that we're going to do after doing the auto phase is we're gonna do the auto gain. So this is really big because this will then uh, let you know um, where, or it will tell the RetroTINK 4K um, like how bright to make the signal, if that makes sense. Like how much, like gain is, is like how much analog information you're trying to get from a signal. I don't know, I'm probably not explaining it very well. It's probably because I don't understand it completely. But anyway, basically, it, it basically is like an auto brightness setting. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So anyway, I'm just going to push that right now. Now watch this. It's going to get a little darker, and then it gets a little brighter. And now look at that. Then it gets quite a bit brighter. Now you can see auto gain complete. And now this is like the best setting right now. This, this just looks absolutely awesome in my opinion. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just going to play around a little bit on this game and just show you how awesome this looks i'm going to turn off the flash now <laughs> there we go and again it's it is a little darker you know than like default mode but like i'm in a pitch black room and i'm sitting you know about 10 feet away eight feet away from the tv and let me just tell you this just looks absolutely amazing it looks like a humongous you know uh, 70 inch or whatever CRT 4x3 CRT TV and it's just absolutely stunning like <laughs> especially on this coarse aperture grill setting like everything just pops out and like I can really see those vertical scan lines I can see the horizontal scan lines I can even see a little bit of the aperture grill like the RGB on there and it's just great the colors look great uh, you know RGB going in again $12 Aliexpress mod I'll leave a link to it in the description and check out the other video for the install but yeah just I don't know I'm just hopefully I'm uh, getting this across to you this looks just absolutely awesome yeah but anyway I think it'll do it for this uh, video yeah let me know what you guys think and if any of you try out these settings on your own uh, yeah let me know how it goes for you and what you think because oh wow i mean especially out here in this uh, bright area um yeah it just looks absolutely awesome oh and that that is something i forgot to mention when you're doing the auto gain uh functionality you usually do want to do it in a brighter area so um yeah so like out here would be a good place and you can do it again too if you want like i'll just do it again just for just for kicks it'll probably be about the same because the house was pretty bright as well yeah, it looks like it's about the same. But yeah, basically you just don't want to do it in like the bottom of the well, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> don't do it in the shadow temple. You know, do it in a place that's, you know, semi-bright. <laughs> yeah, the auto gain uh, does better on that. By the way, I'm using a blue retro adapter right now. And uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. But uh, yeah, with a uh, NOS, uh, NSO <laughs> switch controller, and yeah, this setting, this setup is just like absolutely awesome. It almost makes me want to, almost, I said almost, almost makes me want to sell some of my CRT TVs. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I think that'll do it for now. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this content. And let me know if you have any questions or want me to show you anything else. And we will talk to you later. Bye.